Hey guys, Chris here again, and I'm gonna show you why you might, using Adobe Animate CC, get this message when you're trying to apply a tween to tween some assets around the stage. Um, the error message says the selected frame span can't be tweened and it must be converted to a symbol in order to tween it. And do you want to convert and create a tween? And then you click either cancel or okay. So the really confusing thing about this is that Animate is telling you to convert this to a symbol. When I say this, I'm talking about this particular asset where the user's trying to use the asset warp tool. And when you're using the asset warp tool in classic tweens, you don't have to convert anything to a symbol. The classic tween works across keyframes that contain an asset warp container. So there's no need to even convert anything to a symbol. So what's actually going on here? So let's take a closer look. If we were to go and start applying the asset warp tool and start dropping pins on this without selecting all first and leaving this little island out here by itself, not part of the asset warp container and make a bunch of pins, create a new keyframe and then go in and start manipulating, make some kind of change so that when we apply our tween, we'll see something happening. Now, if I right click and say create classic tween, we get this. The convert selection to symbol for tween panel saying, hey, you can't do this. Do you wanna convert the frame content to a symbol in order to tween? And I say, okay, if I don't know any better, if I don't know what's going on, and I don't know the reason and the history behind this, I click okay. Now in the library, we have tween one and tween two. And that's what happens. It takes this, it converts it to a symbol, it moves it up and, and it snaps to whatever was the manipulated asset warp container that we created, it just breaks it and it's a bad workflow and it's not the user's fault. It is kind of animates fault and, but it's, it's more than that. It's kind of a, a long history of how animate has um, progressed and has developed over several, several years and several different features that get added on top of each other. Um, so let's just, delete that layer to make sure that this and all pieces that make up this graphic, this whole entire image, I'm going to do a, a control. I'm on windows a command uh, for Mac, but control a is going to select everything. Now I'm going to grab the asset warp tool and let's click here. And now we see that's added. So now we have one object and I've started pinning it and I'm just going to go along and just add a few pins, drop one here, drop one there. I'm going to go to frame 15. I'm going to hit F6, which is inserting another keyframe. And with the asset warp tool still selected, I'm going to start manipulating this. All right. So now we have in frame one, the original asset. And in frame two, we've manipulated it. Now I'm going to right click and say create classic tween. And now we, you'll see that this tween span has a solid horizontal line, which means it's working. And if we scrub the timeline, it works. So to recap, if you're going to use the asset warp tool and classic tweens, make sure in your very first keyframe, you select all to verify that every single asset is selected so that when you start to click using the asset warp tool, it basically takes all of the artwork and contains it inside an asset warp container. That way, when you create subsequent keyframes and make your edits and then apply your tweens, the tweens won't break. If you do not have everything selected and you have present on the timeline in any keyframe, an asset warp container along with say a vector shape somewhere, animate's gonna pop up that error telling you that it must be 
converted to a symbol first. And that's just wrong. It shouldn't be converted to a symbol first. It's compounding the issue by creating yet another error on top of an error. So disregard, just cancel and make sure you did what I did in this video, which is go back, start over, make sure everything is selected, and then start using the Asset Warp tool. I hope this helps.